Welcome to the Signal RGB Components Tutorial. In this video, I'll go through and configure motherboard headers and a few different controllers step by step. Before watching this tutorial, you should watch the Signal RGB Quick Start Guide. Components is simply the term we use for any devices that connect to either an RGB controller or a motherboard header. Since it's impossible for Signal RGB to know what's connected, you'll need to manually configure it. We've made it a little easier by showing everything that needs configuration at the top of the devices page. Let's start with the motherboard headers. When you first install Signal RGB, every controller and motherboard header will have default strips. These strips are there as placeholders until you specify the actual components that are connected. Remove all of the default strips by clicking the X when you hover over it. Now you can see that the strip at the front of the case is pulsing red. This corresponds with channel 1, which you can see is also pulsing red. This is how you'll know which components are connected to which channels. It's especially useful if you didn't build your own PC and you have no idea where everything is wired. There is nothing else pulsing either red or blue except for the strip at the front of the case. This means the case strip is the only thing connected to my motherboard. So then all I need to do is add a strip to channel 1 with the correct LED count. Simply click Add Component, which will make this menu pop open. To add a custom strip, click Create. I know this case strip has 27 LEDs, so that's what I'll be putting here. Now you can see that the case strip is back to being synced up with the neon effect. Let's do one more example with the Razer ARGB controller. Start by deleting the placeholder strips just like before. You can see that the strips at the bottom are pulsing red and the GPU holder is pulsing blue. There is nothing else pulsing any of these six colors, which means I'm only working with channel 1 and channel 2. On channel 1, I know the strips are called Easy DIY Fab Premium LED Strips, so I'll use the search bar to quickly find and add it twice. I'm adding it twice because I have two of them chained to this one port on the controller. The order of devices in a channel matters if the devices are not the same. But in this situation, they're both the same, so it can be ignored. You might have noticed that I didn't create a custom strip like I did the first time with my case strip. That's because this time, a pre-created component already existed in the menu with the correct number of LEDs. If you can't find your component in the menu, then it means it just hasn't been added yet, so that's when you create a custom strip. For channel 2, I know it's an easy DIY fab GPU holder, so I'll add that in. Now this Razer controller is done being configured. Now moving on to the Corsair Commander Core. I'll remove the default strips just like before, and you can see the three fans that are pulsing red at the bottom. They're all the same QL fan, so I'll add three of them. Next, I'll configure the thermal take controller. Once again removing the default strips, you can see how each of the four fans at the top are pulsing a different color that corresponds with one of the channels. I know that all four of these fans are ring quads, so I'll add that to channel 1, 2, 3, and 4, then skipping 5 since there's nothing connected to it. Next, I'll configure this Yeelite Wi-Fi device, which I've connected via our third-party services, and I talked about that in our quick start guide. I have six Yeelite cubes, so that's what I'll be adding here. Finally, the last one in my PC is the Lian Li controller. Once again, removing all of the default strips. I have three Lian Li SL Infinity fans all connected to channel 1, and so I'll add three of them to channel 1. That concludes the setup of the components in this PC. I'll leave info in the video description on how you can reach our tech support team if you need help with anything or if you have any questions. There's also going to be a link to our Discord server if you want to try getting some help from our community.